banks here on the sand creek in this area right here, about 200 yards wide. The pickup is there on top of the one bank. And then as we pan across, you'll see even though the creek banks are very wide, where the creek is running is, is a very narrow area. As we pan across, then we can see see the creek bank on the other side. So these banks are very wide, but when the creek does run, it doesn't run very wide. And it hasn't run for, for many, many years. So this is just kind of a sample of what it looks like when it when there is a run in the creek. Now we're on the bluff that a while ago you could see off in the distance on the top of that bluff. Looking on down the creek here. This is really typical when the creek runs what it looks like. Even though the banks are very wide. And here, you can see down in the meadow down below, there virtually isn't any bank. It just goes almost up to where those trees are, just this side of it a little bit. And, uh, man, that's a long ways. I remember uh, in 1965, the flood of 65, that was the one time it was it did was different. And this whole bottom ground there was, was uh, full of water. It was about a half a mile wide here. And, but still, the water ran real slow. And uh, there was a fence across uh, through there. Uh, and uh, the creek did take it out, about a half a mile of fence. But debris and stuff piles up in the barbed wire and then it just uh, knocks it down and it drifts on down the creek. But still, it just runs slowly, whether it's just a little thing or a great big wide creek. But this is very typical of how it is over the years. Uh, when I was a kid, it would run like this every two or three years, maybe one time. More recent years, it's probably more like 10 or 15 years between runs. And this is what you would expect, something like this, nothing too outrageous.